Hello guys, um, today I'm going to share with you the two decks that I um I, I found in uh, Rizzo's uh, a very famous Japanese deck builder's um, Twitter, and um, I'm going. I already built them in the deck in a in my account, and I'm going to show you a few games that now I'm going to play. And the first deck that I would like to talk about is the Dimension Shift uh, Spell Woodcraft. Um, quite, I think this is very similar to how it used to be. So the only new cast is the uh, Chimera. So this is also my first game with it. So let's go and take a look at how well it can actually be. Um, in my opinion, actually, there are a lot of new cards in Runecraft that uh, can either fix into both of the different, I mean, uh, you can actually fix it into um, the Golem side or the Spell side, and I think this is what the developer are really looking forward to, but um, in my opinion, it's actually very hard to do so. However, uh, if my opponent is playing aggro, I think basically that is end, but I'm still going to try. I'm not really sure whether I can. Good blush. The beach. Nah, I think this should be okay. Then I really hope my opponent is not playing aggro. The mid range version, I still stand a bit. I still stand a chance, but if he's playing the aggro version, I think I'm um, just dead. Yeah, I'm pretty much just that. So, yeah, this is a very good draw. I can mouse, and uh, even if you don't play anything, I can still draw cards. But yeah, this is the best target for me to bounce because you just don't really want to replay a uh, one toughness followers. Uh, but if you keep that in hand, then I don't really do anything anyway. Okay. Seems to me. I mean, uh, when you play Dimension Shift, you, you just. What you really want to do is to, like, uh, predict what your opponent is playing. And uh, it's not very easy. Yeah, this doesn't really do anything. But, mm, it's closed. I uh, actually. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to. Yeah, it's, it's quite lucky that I actually didn't do anything. Because this should be... Yeah, I think my opponent now is in a very awkward position. Uh, I don't really think he wants to actually evolve uh, other followers to get in that 3 damage. Uh, but at the same time, if you don't do anything, then... Yeah, it's very, it's very desperate for him anyway. But for my side, I don't have Dimension Shift in hand, so... It's quite awkward as well. Okay, it's actually a king deck. Yeah, so I don't think he's going to evolve. Oh yeah, because the, that uh, three cost follower works very well with the king, right? Only five then. It's not enough. What I can do is uh, this will become six, seven. Shift, uh, always remember to draw first, especially when uh, your your big guidance is already at zero cost. That is where you really want to just uh, finish up your. Okay, so now my opponent is um, low in gas. Uh, 
uh, even though I don't have my dimension sheet then uh, yeah I just draw one though uh, let's just start with draw and also another draw uh, do I want to play Merlin here? I think I want to stop the damage from coming in instead uh, what is the best thing I can do here is I can play this yeah I think no harm so then just just play my uh just play out my thread because he's only uh, he only have two cards in hand and if the let me show you survive oh my goodness the bad Oh, this actually was very well with the king as well. Because I learned something new. Uh, he's a 70 and he can kill me. So now uh, I become very awkward for me. You suddenly become very awkward. But anyway, I just try my back and do everything I can. But at this card just changed the turn table around. Uh, he should be able to hold him for, for the wall. I just have to hope that he don't have another copy of that. Perhaps is also very good. This station. Does it do it? Oh, last word. Oh, this is a very good. This is a very good tag. Hmm. The choice between hand cards or board presents. I I'm afraid I am forced to of presence here uh, but I still uh, have the ability to draw first uh, uh, this is quite bad for me I've been bringing this very bad because I just uh, misunderstand my own deck and that is very terrible blame. Yeah, I don't really draw something like bounce or any two cost cuts. They can actually help me this way. Okay. This is really bad. Uh, the problem is if I play Merlin, what I do is to trade with the Cerberus. That is not what I want either. So now I think the, the bot told me that Merlin become very very strong. And I, I used to play that uh, before the rotation, so I really understand the draw draw about the deck. I'm quite surprised that he actually just. Uh, it's not only he ignored the golem, but also he just basically. Uh, what can I do? Very, very stupid. I can't do anything wrong. Oh man, this is a good draw. Do you get a cut? But um, <laughs> it's not enough. It's not enough. Yeah, it's not enough. And then my opponent just uh, just all of a sudden, my opponent now have better top deck than me. Is what I really don't want, but it just doesn't seem like there's anything I can do about it. Oh, we start the go phase. Oh yeah, this game. Ah, well, he's playing it very well, and his deck is really interesting. His deck is really well planned. But anyway, um. Uh, I imagine she have this against uh, 
Oh, most of the deck that have stopped so. And also I misplay very terribly in the middle of the game. Uh, because if I if I just keep my um, zero cost in destroyer, I might still have a chance. Yeah, the situation is very bad. Okay, now uh, against Royal when you are going first, I really want to just draw instead of playing anything else. So, you just want to draw as many cards as you can, because that increases the chance that you actually get something that has uh, a spell boost. You just want to utilize your spell boost uh, if possible. I'm going to keep my Golem for next turn. I don't really think during the three that uh, the one that I to either Unicorn or the face that does any difference. I don't know. We have the the part one. We have both of them in hand. Yeah, I told you this is a really awesome card. Right? I I do uh, I do assume that see play in a lot of different decks. Now I have problems. Uh, I don't want to take that much damage. So yeah. Although um, in this way I use my mana in a more is a le in a less efficient way. Uh, but this actually uh, yeah it just helped me to save a lot of damage. Because my opponent most likely is just going to stuck there and it just saves me from six damage. Okay, it's still evolved, but I I may I, I will able I will still be able to carry on them, so it's fine. The V? Mm, and no. Top deck guys, top deck. <laughs> top deck is part of skill. Um, unfortunately, yeah, I think we, uh, because it's a 4 5 it's, he did the correct play that he forced me to decide and people. The, the good news and the bad news is, the good news is, uh, the bot looks like it's still under control. Oh my god. Now the Luminous Mage is insane because it just come out with a Luminous Knight and the Luminous Knight just can just keep evolving unless I kill it uh, or all the commanders can evolve okay. Start with Bows Oh, play Merlin I mean, if let's say I play uh, the other two spells, then uh, I will be able to uh, get rid of two of his followers, maybe I'll do so. But uh, if I'm not, then definitely I'm going to play Merlin and attack. Like, I still get, uh, I, I get a for presence, I get a spell boost, I get an extra cast in hand. And um, actually, in this particular matchup, what I'm looking for is. Um, Wind Blast, that we do have 3 coffee in it, but we didn't get it unfortunately. Um, now we are out of the buff point, we are still quite far from our combo. So I do admit that this doesn't really look like very this is not really good. Okay, okay, it's fine. I, need, I really need a win actually carry off that uh, 4 5 pain. Otherwise, I'm screwed. Uh, yeah, I get the draw. 
I get another draw. I get a win plus. I do I want to skip draw cards? I think I still need to draw, right? I think I want go now. This is not why I'm looking. Um, next turn I can combo off. So it's, very, it's, it's a very annoying situation. I, I think I made some mistake just now, but uh, I, it's, my opponent is playing it in a way that I just feel very annoying, but nothing much I can do about it. And now I just left the life, and I'm almost 100% crossed to just go more. And then because. Uh, my second dimension shift will not be. I will not be able to cut my second dimension shift. So this is not a key. Can I actually pull this up? I cannot. I cannot cast this no matter what. Yeah, this is like the best I can do. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I tried guys, I tried. Yeah, that, that is the only card that I cannot beat, other than damage strike. I didn't really expect that. Anyway. Uh, in my in my opinion, I think this deck works quite well. Um, but I might do I might have some changes here. Mm. Yeah, I do think I'll, I I I think I will have some changes here. Is because uh, we want to have our combo piece as early as possible, but at the same time, we want to be able to have something to push them. So I don't really like this. Although it does boost that, but um, but at the same time we just don't get enough value out of it. So I really like this a lot. And then the second thing is uh, we really need um, a card that can help us to deal with multiple creatures, like a pop white or something like that. So I there, there are a few choices. I think the best should be the new cards. Is Turn them into the rats. So if I'm going to play Dimension Shift, which I think this version should be fine. Yeah, you can give it a try. This is my pick. That after I playing for a few games before this, and also uh, the two games that I demonstrated in uh, 
the videos I, I think the version is strong when you actually play against some um, in rangey or like aggro deck I mean, I mean uh, like control deck of course if you are like super strong against the control mirror but if you are playing a mid range it's okay if you are playing aggro then it's very very bad so in my opinion um, this is a 1-1 one -one, although it is a 1-1 one -one, but uh, a lot of time you have some 1 damage uh, spell that just doesn't really enough to kill your opponent especially like you just want to see the Unicro have been survived for so many turns um, I really think I need something like this to actually just fulfill the, the purpose of like doing the 1 extra damage to the opponent to actually kill it so yeah I think that this is it for the spell rune craft um, I really hope you like this and after this I'll be making another video for the discard dragons so yeah, I hope to see you guys around soon.